From days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Entrusted by the Alliance with the ancient secret of how to assemble Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Defender of the Universe. Well, Pidge, we're finally getting to take that vacation together we've been dreaming about for two years. But don't sleep through the whole trip. Hey, we're coming to the most beautiful part of this whole park right now. There's a big, clear blue lake up ahead. And as soon as we get through this tunnel coming up, you'll see the Horseshoe Waterfalls. And we can get in a lot of great fishing up here, too. Sound good? <laughs> Pidge! Pidge, what happened to you? Where'd you go? Pidge! Pidge! A dream! For a little while, it seemed like Pidge was really here. Well, maybe at next mail call, I'll get a letter from him anyway. Please remember that we're in drool territory, so we have to be ready for anything. The drools aren't polite. They'll drop in without being invited, so stay on your toes. Oh, by the way, Captain Newley's squadron has brought us a pleasant surprise. Mail. It's long overdue, I know, and I'm sure you're all anxious for news of your loved ones. So hand it out, boys. Hooray! So go get your mail and enjoy it. And I hope there's something for me. I always get junk mail. Hey, hey, all right! Hey, that's it, Soki! Come on! It's Cliff, Jeff, Cinda, Cinda, Ginger, Jeff, Crick, Cliff. My father bought another hydroponic farm. He says it'll be mine someday. My three brothers say they want to meet that smashing ginger. Oh, great! I just happen to be completely free tonight. So they sent your baby picture, Jeff. Oh, you were adorable. We're adorable? Hey, I'm still adorable. You're so adorable, I'm going to be sick. Hey, Chip, a letter from home? What do they hear from Pidge? Yeah, a letter from home. Mom says, I think of you often. We had a nice long letter from your brother Pidge today. He's fine. I wish you and he were stationed together. Twins shouldn't be separated. I miss you both. I got a feeling something's wrong. Chip usually looks a lot happier when he's reading a letter from home. Status of our intelligence operation. One moment, sir. Quickly! Our spacecraft are gathering information over the enemy fleet. When you have determined the size of the fleet, inform me immediately. It's looking good out there. A well-fortified base. Yes, sir. We're stronger every day. When this base is finished, it won't be such a temptation to the drools. Enemy planes overhead. One space, Hector. What? First robot fighter wave is launching. Second wave, move from taxiway to runway. The 
robot fighters are closing on the enemy. He can't let any of them get away. We must stop them. Drone is getting away. Magno rockets. The infrared thermo sensor is weak, but it seems to be working. I've adjusted for the skewing. It looks like it's right on target. We got him, Captain. Good work. Call Explorer. Get Jeff's team. We need backup. Attention, air team. Prepare to launch. Attention, air team. Prepare to launch. All right, everybody, here we go again. Fire the turbos. Standing by to blast off. Hey, Chip's not here. What? <laughs> He's always the first one in line. Air team, launch. Air team, launch. Why aren't you complying? Chip, what are you doing here? Why aren't you with your team? Chip. Jeff, why all this delay? I'm sorry, Chip's not here yet. We can't wait any longer, Jeff. Cancel. Cliff, you better take your team out. Right. Dragging in late this way. What's the matter? You couldn't hear the alert? You need glasses on your ears, maybe? I know there must be a good explanation. Well, tell me. This squirt thinks because he's small, he gets special privileges. Well, he don't. He's got to grow up and learn to be half the man his brother Pidge is. Ricky! <laughs> surveillance photos from our spy planes. The fleet is even larger than first reports indicated. We must give thought to a battle strategy. Soon, Valen. At present, we have to be concerned about knocking out the advanced squadron they've sent toward the planet. They're sure to use their Voltron force. I think we can handle that when the time comes. What about Hazar? People say he's speaking out against you. Let him speak, Valen. Hazar no longer has any power. There is nothing to fear from a toothless tiger. <laughs> Captain, your squadron is launching. They're sending out an attack squadron, Commander. That doesn't surprise me. Attack, fight, destroy, never wait and see. You know the letter Chip was reading to us this morning? It wasn't from his mother. He wrote it himself. He dropped it and I picked it up. It's in his handwriting. Why would a guy write himself a letter? You know how he keeps hoping for some word about his brother Pidge on planet Eris? Well, I didn't hear Chip's name at mail call this morning and I was standing right by him. That doesn't sound like Chip. Just because his mother forgot to write him one time? Chip's very close to his brother. Don't forget, they're twins. Well, you know, Chip and Pidge were orphans as children. Their adoptive parents took them both so they wouldn't be parted. What a wonderful thing. No wonder he loves them so much. Obviously, his mother, for some good reason, couldn't write to him this time around, so he felt abandoned all over again. He must really be hurting. Somebody ought to go talk to him. How about you, Lisa? 
why me? Because you always know the right words to say. If you'll do that, Lisa, I'll get him off the hook with the commander. Hazar requests an immediate audience, sir. <laughs> Tell the toothless tiger I'm much too busy right now. If you want somebody to pour your heart out to, I'm open for business. No charge. Just leave me alone. Chip, I found something of yours. Of mine? Uh-huh. This yours? Oh! I didn't think you meant to throw it away. I know how much letters from home mean to everybody. Come on, I always thought Chip was short for Chipper. Everybody's really worried about you. Worried about me? Yeah, you, Chip. We're supposed to be a team, remember? We've sighted a planet and we're heading down to investigate. Great, Cliff. I'll send Jeff and Crick and their teams to help out. Get going. Right! All Voltron teams, to your stations. Prepare for immediate launch. All Voltron teams, to your stations. Prepare for immediate launch. Hey, Chip, that's us. Let's go. Please, Chip. The teams are ready except mine. No Chip and no Lisa. Okay, then you'll have to go ahead without them. Yes, sir. All teams, let's go! Chip, please. You're making me late, too. Let's go. I'm sorry, Lisa, but I just can't go out and face the others. I didn't hear that. I wrote this to myself, and everybody knows it. How can a person be so dumb and live? Why didn't she write? Maybe something bad happened to Pidge. <laughs> I'm really scared, Lisa. <laughs> Everything will be all right, Chip. You weren't the only one who didn't get mail. Sometimes a packet gets held up or lost. Oh, come on. You wouldn't want your brother to see you like this, would you? I'm picking up a mayday below. Jeff, somebody down there is in urgent need of help. Yeah, we picked up the signal too. Let's see if we can give him a hand. Nose down. Wow! Jeff, look. It seems to be a drool scout plane. The tank that it crashed into, that's where the signal's coming from. What should we do about it? Drools or not, if they need help, we gotta give it to them. I agree. The first thing we've got to do is lift off the wreckage. Then we can open the hatch and see what we've got inside. force has landed on the planet. <laughs> they fell into my trap. Cut that wreckage away. Cliff, we're keeping you covered, but try to hurry it up. Sir, an examination of the Voltron team shows... Yes, shows what? that there are two less machines than there ought to be. Two less? Then attack now! Jeff, it looks like a trap! Yeah!
We've been tricked, Jeff. There's nobody inside. It was a decoy, a dummy. Activate the giant roll beast. There's a rope beast down there. What next? Ginger, we gotta put some better moves on him. Right, Jack. Follow me. Hey, that's more like it. Now let's see if we can bail Cliff out. Good! I'm just beginning to get mad! Chip, Lisa, your team is under attack. Chip, do you hear that? They need us. Come along, it's not too late. What about Pidge? Wouldn't he jump if his team needed him at a time like this? Okay, I can't wait any longer for you. I've gotta go. Wait up, Lisa! I'm coming! Just because I've been a wimp doesn't mean I have to stay a wimp! You're no wimp. They'll finish us if we don't get help soon. is right on him. We can talk about what held you up later, after we send this Robies packing. Glad we can all get together again. Okay, team, it's time to form Voltron! Some room to fight. Okay, Robeast, Rapeen Whip. Electro Thermal Blast. Follow up. Chip, you're doing great. I better be. I gotta make up for messing up the team before. Jeff, you'd better watch it. Oh, no! Give him a taste of the spinning laser blades! Let's finish it off! Alan, our situation could not be worse, and now the enemy fleet is almost upon us. What is your order? Retreat, what else? Hey, 
Azar. You keep to yourself. You brood. What you do not do is take action. Many would follow you if you took things into your own hands. You are needed. I'm sure glad Chip and Lisa managed to hook up with us just when they did. You were great, Chip. Really great. I gotta apologize for the way I yelled at you earlier. Someday when I'm goofing off, you can yell at me. Okay, little buddy? Someday, Hutch. Make that every day. You've raised goofing off to a high art. Well, I'm giving up goofing off. Oh, Chip. The mail crew came up with an extra letter that belongs to you. It got mixed up with mail for another section. Sorry for the delay. Here it is, Chip, and I'll bet you can guess who it's from. It's from Pidge, way out on planet Eris. It went first to my mother and now to me. Wow, it traveled millions of light years to get here. Well, what does he have to say? Yeah, come on, share it. He says, Remember the day at the orphanage when Mom and Dad came to adopt me and I said I wouldn't go unless they took you too? We swore we'd never be separated. Well, we're finally separated and I miss you. Mostly, I work with our Voltron team to defend Princess Allura and her planet from invasion. I fly the green line, and I form Voltron's left arm. I'm left-handed, you know. What part are you on your Voltron team? You ought to be the head. You always have the brains. When we're not flying, I spend my time training animals. You ought to see the great act I'm putting together with some very clever mice here at the castle. Hey, do you think we'll ever get to take that vacation we've been dreaming about for years? Well... Write soon and fill me in on everything. <laughs>